Have you noticed that um, your Go High Level chat widget is working while you're logged in in WordPress as an admin? But when you are in production in an incognito mode, you'll notice that the chat widget is not showing on the right side. As you can see here, I'm logged in in WordPress as an admin and you can see it on the right side here. It works, but when I go to production like on an incognito mode, you'll see that it's not showing. And I've been working on this for a couple of days now. I was finally able to fix the problem. Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carlos from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm located on the west side of the valley in Goodyear. What I do is I design and deploy websites and different automation tools to small businesses here in um, Phoenix and across North America. If you are a small business and uh, an owner that needs help for a website design or SEO services, feel free to contact me via my website, smartwebsite.info, and you can reach the, uh, my automated uh, chat widget here, or you can hit the contact uh, uh, page and fill up the form. It will be sent to me automatically, and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Uh, you can also reach me via my phone number, my office phone number here. Um, also, before we go to the topic of uh, how, uh, how, how I fix the widget issue, um, I just want to remind everyone I'm not sponsored by any tools that I use, but I am an aff affiliate, which means if you purchase from the links that I have in my description or comment section, I may earn a small commission without any additional cost to you. Um, also, if you believe that you've learned from my videos, feel free to subscribe, like, and make a comment below. That helps the channel to be exposed to other folks that may need the information that I share. Uh, with that out of the way, let's move on to the topic for today. So, like I mentioned, right, um, if uh, in your production, I notice that the chat widget is not working. I don't see it here, but when I'm logged in as admin, it's working. And um, the way I configure the Go High Level chat widget is via lead connector. It's simple, right? You just make sure the chat widget is turned on. Which chat widget are you using? And it should work. But I also use my hosting provider is SiteGround, which I love very much because they are fast. SiteGround is what I recommend for hosting providers because number one, they got 24 seven support. You can reach them, you can talk to a person, you can, uh, they have an AI tool that you can talk, that you can chat with also. And it's very, all the information that you need are there. Um, and um, I have a link below if you are interested to, to use SiteGround as a uh, for your hosting provider or if you need help on setting up your website your this the chat widget or you know um, any SEO services um, reach out to me and I can help you with that um, so right now before we go to the solution I just want to walk you through uh, why SiteGround is a great tool for hosting right so once you log in once you log into SiteGround um, you'll be here in the home section it's and you can also do referrals like I do, like an affiliate, right? You'll have that referral program too. But here, you just go to websites, and then you go to uh, site tools, and it is very uh, user intuitive. You can install, manage your WordPress, your email accounts, file manager, site scanner, and super cacher. What I really like about this one is it's very, like I mentioned, easy to, to navigate, right? You have your dashboard, you have your sites, and uh, file manager. This is where your files are for your websites. And then FTP accounts. You can create an FTP account. I know there's a cPanel that you can use with other websites, which is great. I like the cPanel too, but from a simplicity standpoint, SiteGround provides everything that you can you can access. All right, another one is the MySQL here, the database. Uh, what I like about it is the um, uh, users. You can add uh, more users. Um, and this one for your PostgreSQL too, right here. You can add more users too if you need to. Um, from a security standpoint, um, the best thing about it is you have backups. So you can see here, I have um, all backups are here. It's backed up at 2.09 p.m., 1.09 every hour. So you have an hourly backup and you have a daily backup and you have a manual backup. For hourly, for hourly, daily and manual, you can just hit here and you can restore, which is really amazing, right? You can even download it, which is great. Uh, SSL, that you have your SSL too. Uh, HTTP enforce. This is awesome. You can force for HTTPS and uh, protected URLs are here too. Uh, you can put a folder here and um, <coughs> you can protect that URL. Uh, block traffic. This is what I really like too. You can block IP ranges if you have any bots that you want to block. Uh, you can also block a country if you want to. So, um, site scanner. 
This is good for malware. You can scan, scan there. I think there's an additional cost here, but it's amazing. Um, it's not that expensive. I don't have the exact price for it, but uh, site ground protects you. All right. Now, no malware found for me, which is great. Uh, you don't want those. One of the best things that site ground offers to is speed, right? They are fast. I'm going to show you later how fast my website is too. All right. Um, caching, as you can see here, um, you can cache the dynamic cache. So let's say you did some changes on your website, right? Um, sometimes once you do any change, especially for WordPress, you do changes on WordPress. Sometimes it, it's still cached and you'll be able, the changes won't appear. So what I do, you can also do it via Purge SG cache, but what I could do, which is really effective, I can go here, dynamic cache. I just click this, cache, and mem cache too. Do that, and you should be good. CDN, um, I have the basic right now, which is free, but it's still fast. We're, I'm gonna show that to you um, later. All right, <clears throat> now WordPress. See, you can install, manage WordPress. Staging, you can create a staging for um, WordPress before you go to production. Uh, you can also use migrate, you can migrate auto update for WordPress. See, I'm using 6.8.2. All right. It also does the auto automate uh, automa auto update settings too. So you know, major release 24 hours, minor release immediate, and then update plugins too. You can control the plugins that are being updated here too. So, um, search and replace. If you're looking for any duplicates, you can use this too. There's also a plugin that you can use for WordPress for that. And domain for park domains, you can add it here. Subdomains, you can create a subdomain here too if you want to. Let's say you you want to create a directory listing. And redirects. You can also do a redirect for a permanent 301. And DNS zone editor. This is where the TXT MX records are. Uh, email if you need to. But I used Google Workstation, so you can do that too. I think uh, SiteGround also do Google Workstation. They offer it. So, and then your stats, traffic. Here you can see here. All right. Error logs. Everything's here. All right. Now, um, so we're done with SiteGround. This is an amazing uh, hosting provider. So if you're interested, there's a link below. All right, now I want to test the website, right? <coughs> uh, to, to show you guys how fast SiteGround is, right? So to start website and info, copy the link. We'll go to GT Metrics. GT Metrics is a really great tool that um, um, uh, tests how fast your website is. It gives you, gives you also um, recommendations. So we'll do a live one. This is the latest one, three days ago. We'll do this one. And let's do test it live. While waiting for that, we're going back to the topic for today, which is fixing the chat widget. Uh, as you can see here in Reddit, people are like, it was 10 months ago, people are like talking about the chat widget. Um, it's like we're having this weird things happen with our live chat widget. I know they didn't mention SiteGround, but it was happening to me too, which is my problem was it wasn't even showing up for their issue. Small percentage of time the messages are sent from high level, but the messages aren't actually showing in the chat widgets. So this is a little bit different, but, but like I said, um, did I wanted to share to you guys my experience. All right, let's go back to GT Metrics. As you can see here, guys, look at that. The speed of SiteGround. So I got an A, 100% performance, 90% structure, largest uh, contentful paint, total blocking time, and stale. Uh, GT Metrics also um, provides suggestions. So from an SEO perspective, like I said, if you guys are interested, uh, or website creation if you want something fast if you need help especially if you're a small business that you are focused on your business and you need help to get a good website that is fast act um, um, with with good content and also search engine optimized feel free to contact me um, from a search from a speed so it's site ground from a search engine optimization I use um, rank math SEO so let me just show I'll create another video about this topic um, but if you look at SEO analyzer here as you can see I'm at 86% and the warning is just two failed test is just two I still have to fix a couple of keywords but from a past test perspective you guys can see that automatic updates SEO description I'm following all the best practices h1 h2 image alt attributes and then if you sc scroll down at the very bottom you'll see here everything is checked I account for everything um, this is really a great score 29 out of 33 pages. It's not perfect, but I'm still working on a couple of my pages. And if you go to um, my post, all of my posts, you see here, 84, you, from an SEO perspective, it should be above 80. It should be above 80, all right? 84 over 100. It, it's called your keywords, your slugs, your content. Your content has to be above 600 words. It has to be relevant. That's another topic that we can talk about. But from an SEO perspective, I can help you guys if you need assistance um, on my pages. If you notice here, about section 86, 83 on my blog, affiliate, not that much because that's the disclaimer. Contact, still have to work on that. Um, 
and for the main page I'm at 91 and then portfolio 84 so and 86 for services so there's still a couple things that needs to be worked on but like I said from an SEO perspective feel free to reach out anyway let's go back to the issue right so what was the issue issue is when I'm in production uh, incognito mode you see here the chat widget is not working for go high level now I found a bug uh, not really a bug because I use SiteGround Optimizer and Speed op Optimizer. And one of the things that um, one of the things that you need to really focus on is also there are settings for the Speed Optimizer for SiteGround, which is if I go to the if I go to the Speed Optimizer, I go to the front end, and the Minify CSS file is highly recommended. Combined CSS file is also recommended. But what I notice is the mi the Minify is also, also recommended. This one is also recommended. This one is depending on your current scenario. For me, I don't use it. Um, but this one, this is the one that breaks it. Combine JavaScript files, combine multiple JavaScript files into one to lower the number of requests your site generates. So it's on right now because I know it'll, it breaks it. So if I turn it off, all right, and then I do a purge cache, and then I go to site tools, of uh, site around again, and then I just go to um, speed caching. I flush the dynamic cache and the mem cache too. And then I go back to the incognito mode and I refresh. And there you go. It's fixed now. All right. So that's the fix, guys, is the um, front end here, speed optimizer, and make sure that the on the JavaScript that this is unchecked. It really won't affect your SEO. Um, this one will affect your SEO. Uh, but this one won't because if I go here and I go, uh, I do an SEO analyzer. Let's wait for a little bit, and um, you'll see here uh, on well not that one because I'm using the free version. If you look here, fail test. It should show up here for JavaScript issues, but it's not. It's just showing the focus keywords that I need to work on and the post title of missing focus keywords. That's not, that's not hard. I just have to work on a couple more pages and post. But aside from that, folks, uh, that's the fix for that issue. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe below and um, uh, reach out to me if you need any assistance for website design and creation. And also if you need help on this chat widget, I can also help you guys. All right, guys, have a good one. Thank you. And uh, see you next on my next video.